I am Lyra, a wild and untamed soul roaming the vast lands of Varenthia. As a female barbarian, my strength and fierceness have become my identity. With my trusty battle axe in hand and the wind in my hair, I have carved my path through countless battles and conquered challenges that would make lesser warriors cower. My latest adventure began in the village of Stonehaven, a humble settlement nestled amidst towering mountains. The people of Stonehaven were known for their bravery, but they had fallen victim to a strange and powerful curse. Their crops withered, their livestock perished, and a sense of hopelessness hung heavy in the air. It was said that an ancient artefact called the Flame of Restoration could lift this curse, but its whereabouts had been lost to time. Intrigued by the village's plight, I offered my aid. The villagers eagerly shared the tales passed down through generations, whispering of the flame's last known location, a treacherous mountain range shrouded in mystery. They warned me of the dangers that awaited, towering cliffs, treacherous chasms, and mythical creatures lurking in the shadows. Undeterred, I embarked on my journey, my determination burning brighter than ever. The mountains loomed ahead, their jagged peaks piercing the sky. As I scaled the rugged terrain, the howling winds threatened to throw me off balance. But I pressed on, fueled by an unyielding desire to restore hope to the villagers. Days turned into weeks as I traversed the unforgiving landscape. I encountered towering beasts and formidable enemies, each battle hard fought and won. My battle axe cleaved through the opposition, and my barbarian spirit surged with each victory. However, the flame of restoration remained elusive, and doubt began to seep into my heart. Just as despair threatened to consume me, a celestial creature emerged from the shadows, a phoenix. With feathers aflame it radiated an otherworldly aura. Its eyes held wisdom beyond time itself, and its melodic voice filled my mind. Lyra, seeker of the flame. The phoenix spoke its voice carrying the weight of centuries. Your journey is not in vain. The flame lies hidden deep within the forgotten caverns, guarded by the ancient spirits of fire and ice. Only a true warrior can withstand their trial and claim the flame. With renewed determination, I followed the phoenix's guidance to the forgotten caverns. The entrance yawned before me, a dark abyss beckoning with trepidation. Torches in hand, I descended into the frigid depths, where icicles glimmered like fragile crystals. The biting cold gnawed at my bones, but I pressed forward, undeterred by the freezing gusts. Within the depths of the caverns, I faced the spirits of fire and ice. The spirit of fire was a blazing tempest, its flames reaching towards the heavens. Its fury was matched only by the spirit of ice, an ethereal figure encased in ice crystals. Their powers clashed, threatening to consume everything in their wake. Without hesitation I plunged into battle. My battle axe danced with fire and ice as I deflected their elemental attacks. The spirit's fury grew, their power intensifying with each passing moment. My body ached, battered by the unrelenting onslaught, but I refused to yield. As the spirit's power reached its zenith, a window of opportunity emerged, a fleeting chance to strike. Channeling the strength of the ancestors, I unleashed a final, devastating blow. The spirits dissipated into a burst of ethereal energy, and the caverns fell silent. In the heart of the chamber, atop a stone pedestal, flickered the flame of restoration. Its warm glow bathed the caverns, dispelling the cold and darkness that had plagued the land. With reverence, I cradled the artifact in my hands, feeling the power resonate within me. Returning to Stonehaven, I presented the flame to the villagers. As the flame's restorative energies spread, Life returned to the once barren fields, crops flourished, and the village thrived once more. Grateful smiles and tears of joy filled the air, a testament to the indomitable spirit of the human heart. With my purpose fulfilled, I remained in Stonehaven for a while, assisting the villagers in rebuilding their lives. I shared my knowledge of combat and survival, teaching them how to protect themselves from future threats. The villagers were quick learners, and soon their ranks were filled with skilled fighters, ready to defend their home. As the village prospered, rumours of my heroic deeds spread across the land. Other settlements sought my aid, and I found myself travelling from one corner of Varenthia to another, lending my strength and wisdom to those in need. In each village, I fought alongside the oppressed, vanquishing tyrants and restoring hope. I became a symbol of resilience and justice, 
a legend whispered in the hearts of the people. But my heart longed for the untamed wilderness, the open expanse where I truly felt alive. And so, after many seasons of adventuring, I bid farewell to the settlements and returned to the nomadic life I cherished. I roamed the wilds, embracing the serenity of untouched landscapes and the thrill of encountering elusive creatures. Time passed, and my legend grew, entwined with the legends of the land itself. I became known as the Flamebearer, a protector of the weak and a champion of the wild. Songs were sung of my bravery, and my name echoed through the ages. Yet even as my tale resonated through the annals of history, the flame of restoration remained my most treasured possession. It served as a reminder of the power within us all, the power to heal, to inspire, and to overcome any darkness that befalls us. I, Lyra, the female barbarian, had added another chapter to my adventurous saga. As the winds whispered tales of new lands and uncharted territories, I embraced the horizon, ready to face whatever trials lay ahead. For in my veins flowed the blood of warriors, and my spirit burned brighter than any flame. The journey of a barbarian is never truly over. It is a relentless pursuit of strength, honour, and the untamed freedom of the wild.